Congratulations, you made it to this video where I'm trying to rebrand Halloween. Taking pumpkins, throwing them away and trying to figure out something new for Halloween. My rebrand will be taking in action with this pen and my sketchbook as always. One of the things that I thought that it would be cool to try is another vegetable, an eggplant. It's actually pretty easy to carve into the pumpkin. It's usually er, 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 er. you need to struggle quite a lot. But if you take an eggplant, you shall not have that problem. You see, eggplants have very different shapes and colors, just like a pumpkin. So they are quite similar in some way or another. And if you think about the colors, you have them all over right on the eggplant because it's purple that's a halloween color this will be the canvas for the pumpkin face that we usually carve into the pumpkin i was trying to get more information about the halloween lore because i didn't know much about it in italy we don't have it as a holiday as big as the us apparently the irish population was the first one to carve the jack o lanterns outside of the pumpkin that very scary demonic face immigrants of the irish population took this holiday and brought it to the USA and so this is why you see quite a lot of people using this pretty fun carving event during October look at it <laughs> you know I, I kind of love it it's oh I need to put the hat on how can you carve if you don't put uh, outside the, the meat uh, inside of the veggies so let's take that this is nice I think that this could be a very good option if you don't have um, a pumpkin well maybe you are in a in a place where you don't have pumpkins around and so this might be a good solution for you. My rebrand is a good thing, you know, it's a good thing. I don't know who would be scared about this. Too cute in my opinion, but hey, you do you. If you're scared about this, then this is uh, this is very scary, yes, yes. The one thing that I wouldn't like about carving this veggie is the texture. When you cut into an eggplant it makes a very awful noise that i really do not enjoy so that might be the only thing that could be difficult about this rebrand so this is it this is my little one this is the colored version but let's move to another rebrand shall we what shall i draw do you want to try another veggie vegetables can you carve a coconut don't think it would be very easy. A melon. Oh, let's do even better. A watermelon. Mm -hmm. A very summerish kind of vibe that you can carve. If you are in a place that is always warm, then you could carve a watermelon. Yes, let's do that. This does not look like a watermelon. <laughs> it looks like an egg that is squishy what if i put a, ooh, what if i put a boiled egg oh, i'll do the watermelon after what if i do an egg with like very small carvings in the egg that is boiled and so you will see you will see the white around it that looks also like much like a, a ghost yeah and inside you know you have the yolk you cannot lantern this thing because of course it's like this big how big is the egg like this you cannot light it up hear me out you have the yolk that is yellow so it could be the light coming within the thing that you are carving that it's already there and so you don't need to light it up because it's already yellow This looks like a very angry mochi, but uh, yeah, it's um, heavy <laughs> and cute. This will pop out very much in color. Th this, this is what I'm coming with. It's a, it's a very angry one. Okay, look at it. It's very gooey. He 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 he. It's so cute. Actually, it's so nice. One day I might try it. I'm going to put sparkles, but this time it is a uh, uh, little star. So. And this is the color version. Look at it. Do you like it? Because I really actually do like it. It's quite... It could be a mascot or some sort. But if I am trying to rebrand the thing, then, uh, you know, the colors still go. Because it's white and yellowish orange-ish. Let's concentrate and do this time the watermelon for real. 
I need to do a very good shape. And that is the thing that uh, it's very difficult of the watermelon. Okay, let's do this one. I am content with it. Yes, it, it looks like um, it's all right. I can draw on this. The watermelon is good because, of course, you will have quite the watery part inside. But the outside, that is super easy then to carve because it's not too thick. I'll do a very happy jack-o'-lantern for this one. Then let me tell you why people use pumpkins. Because it's harvest wow. season for these kind of veggies. I found out what the jack did. During this legend, apparently jack did something very bad and did a pact with, um, you know, the devil. It's the legend of Stingy Jack. I like the word stingy. It's cute, actually. So he made this deal with the devil. And so he was condemned to walk around the earth, apparently with only one hollow turning to light its way. It's quite an aesthetic, actually. So, Clay, why are you using pumpkins? If in the tales he is a turnip. I am confused right now, but I am not I'm not saying anything. Like you do you Halloween. I I, I don't care. I understand that it's quite easier to <laughs> carve a pumpkin instead of a turnip. I think that this could be a very good substitution of the pumpkin. Because look at it. Oh wait, I need to do the, the hat again. Hee 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 cute. So this is my third option for rebranding the pumpkin of Halloween. I think this is a good option, yes. Easy to carve, smells very good because, ew, I do not enjoy. The smell of the pumpkin is terrifying <gasps> to me and so this might be a better decision. Mm -hmm. Have it colored, have it colored, look at it, look at it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is the colored version, yeah. And so I have three versions right now that I am proposing to you. Which rebrand would you like more? But yeah, this was it, happy Halloween. And uh, this video will come out after Halloween already in November. So it will be already a little bit late, but you know, shh, don't care about it. Shh. It's all right.